What's up everyone, welcome back to Fisher Hex. Today's video we're going to be doing an update on the quarantine system. But before we get into that, I want to show you some new additions to that quarantine system and they are some mollies here. Um, I currently have one in the left section already um, and here are four more. I got different types of mollies just because I, I like the way they look um, and of course they uh, can crossbreed and make different uh, types of mollies as time goes on. Um, but the chances of that actually happening in a reef take are pretty slim. So if you guys already know this, mollies can be uh, both uh, freshwater and saltwater. They're considered a brachis fish. Now, um, in order to get them into saltwater, you have to acclimate them over a period of time. As you can see here, I'm dripping uh, really slowly into this container from my main reef tank. Now, I will acclimate them for about 45 minutes at this rate, and then I will introduce them into the uh, quarantine tank. Now, uh, one thing about this is the quarantine period doesn't have to be as long as it would with a saltwater fish that's been in saltwater. Uh, the reason for this is um, parasites and um, ick and stuff like that that are currently in a freshwater state. Once they get into saltwater, they, uh, they die really quickly um, just because they're not uh, made to live in that environment. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. Some people who have uh, parasites and ick and stuff like that on saltwater fish sometimes do a freshwater dip which is the exact opposite of this and then to uh, you know take that step to actually get rid of that parasite um, but with this one we're actually just going to keep them in quarantine for probably a few days just to see how they are doing just in case any parasites or anything like that comes about but the chances of that are going to be really slim uh, due to the fact that they were previously in freshwater but anyways guys uh, let's get over to the quarantine tank and I'll show you the update on that all right guys we're back at the quarantine tank and everybody is doing great. I've lost zero fish, which is awesome. It's been about two weeks. Everybody's eating really, really well. The only complaint that I have is the purple towel goby. Um, there's, if you can see, there's little holes right here. I actually have to cover both holes in the back. He has found a way to get through those holes twice. Luckily, I was in here feeding him at the time, and I could scoop him off the floor and put it back into the system. I guess he just has a death wish. Either way, when we put him in the main tank, it won't be a problem because we have the canopy along with all the holes inside are covered. But either way, he's eating great. I feed them all mysis shrimp every other day, and I feed them until they stop eating. Uh, so the purple tile goby's doing awesome. Two more weeks left. Can't wait to get him in the main tank. The two chromises here, green chromises, are doing very, very well. Um, in the beginning, the um, purple, or sorry, the pink pseudochromus in the back, or sorry, the purple pseudochromus in the back, was actually a little sluggish. He stayed at the bottom of the tank for about three days. I finally got him to eat, and now he just swims around. Um, and has no problem. He's definitely really active. Um, but other than that, it just took a couple days, I think, for him to really get used to the system. But I'm, uh, I'm happy that he's doing well. Now we just have to make sure that the eel doesn't eat him. Um, over here on the left-hand side, I added the uh, four uh, mollies today, and then I have a black one in there previously. Um, they're doing pretty good. Uh, they definitely acclimated very well to the salt water. Again, take your time with it. I know some people just throw them in there. But there's really no reason to do that. Just take your time acclimating them and they'll be all right. Um, other than that, guys, the uh, mollies have been here for a couple days. We'll see how they're doing. Then we'll get them in the main tank. Uh, the middle section and the right section have two weeks left. And then we'll put them in the main tank. And who knows what we'll have next for quarantine. I definitely want to do some inverts. Um, I've definitely got to get a yellow tang, a naso tang, and um, a yellow eye tang. So those are the three that I've been wanting to get. But we'll see. Um, the tank is uh, its not full. I'm not really having an allergy issue. I'm not having any bio load problems. But uh, I definitely want to be cautious of how many tangs I add to that tank. Um, just because I don't want to take a chance of having an overcrowded tank and then causing high uh, nutrient levels in turn messing with the coral. Um, I'm more of a coral guy than a fish guy. So uh, we'll see how that works out. But regardless, we're going to be upgrading anyways in the next six months. So um, it wouldn't hurt to have some extra fish for that upgrade. All right, guys, so I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, just let me know. Of course, comment and subscribe. And uh, as always, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks.